we talked about nigerian creators you know getting monetization on instagram what do you think about this drive and you know how does it change things how does it i think things it's out? a good thing actually um monetization is just basically reward for effort you know people are doing this thing already for free so why not just you know get rewarded for it um but i'm i'm concerned the people who are arguing uh, that it may produce a downside are saying that uh, it may become a uh, an opportunity for uh, higher levels of decadence in terms of our moral code here in nigeria mm. however mm. i feel that it shows or it goes to show the um, creative capacity of the normal, ordinary Nigerian. Um, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm, wo I'm worried why we didn't have this monetization a long time yeah. before now. In fact, um, I understand that TikTok, for instance, mm. um, you have, um, you know, in Nigeria currently, uh, TikTok users who are content creators don't get monetized. The same thing happens in the, uh, they are paid in the US, in the UK and everywhere else, except in Nigeria here. But you have um, a lot that is going into influencer marketing, you know, at every other, which is, which is basically what it is really, um, on Instagram, on all of these social platforms, where the real money is exchanging hands is in influencer marketing. And so that is what this monetization is about at this point. Reward for being able to influence people to buy to products. Buy. In fact, Spotify says, or Shopify says, it's about 78% of persons end up buying things they see based on the adverts or based on the backing of influencers that they subscribe to. So it's a huge, huge market. All right. Yes. Okay, so I, I like the fact that uh, we are going to see some monetization because uh, the economy, Good. people are, people are, you know. <laughs> Good for everybody, really. <laughs> but again, let's now ask ourselves, let's come to that other aspect. It's very key. Mm -hmm. Now that everybody's a content creator, does it pose any risk? Does it, what does it portend per se? You know, I already mentioned it um, when I said those who argue against it. Mm. One of the reasons why they do is that it becomes um, or produces a different um, struggle for those who are proponents of um, um, moral compasses. Mm -hmm. Because content creation is just basically do whatever is on your mind. Mm. And you know the human mind is infinite in its capacity to think. When you see someone has done, and what, what is trending these days are usually not particularly fantastic in terms of appeal to those who have very high moral compasses. So you will find more and more people do those things after all they are making money from it mm. and then you start having arguments uh, in favor of things like school has come all right uh, because of course i can come out create content on instagram and make money from it so i think it it, uh, it has that place where it plays against our natural value systems as a country uh, but that if we are able to find a system that allows for balance mm. it is good so you think legislation has to come in then um legislation is tricky Hmm. Legislation is tricky. I'll, I'll say that because, you know, currently the um, the House of Representatives in the U.S., for instance, uh, have passed TikTok, a bill yeah. to ban TikTok. Now, the reality is this: every time you create, you you respond to a problem with ban, you create a black market. Hmm. So the tendency is that people want to look for ways to circumvent that system. And Nigerians were fantastic at thriving in that Sadly. black market. Yes. So um, I do not think that that level of um, you know, legislation uh, will instead open it up more. I think it may stifle it. Mm. But I think that some measure of legislation would be good for it on the long run. All right, the balance will be fine, yes? Mm -hmm.